boys and girls, welcome back to the Steak and Brush. I'm Christine, and I've magically grown my hair long again. No, um, <laughs> I'm actually, for the really kind of first time, um, well, not the first time, I tried it on before, but I got one of these wigs off of Amazon. Um, just to, I, I was offered one to review for free. Um, it's, it's not a real hair one. It's one of the synthetic ones that... I still don't feel confident enough that I would wear it outside yet, but because <laughs> I'm not really sure exactly if I'm wearing it right and my husband hates it. <laughs> not that I let that deter what I wear or what I don't wear, but um, yeah, so I just thought, you know what, my roots are really, really bad and I've just been too lazy to do them. So I'm just going to do it this way today and we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm also, my computer's giving me all kinds of problems. So I'm doing this and hoping everything's framed right because I don't have a monitor to see what my camera's filming right now. So cross your fingers that I have this okay. Um, but yeah, why are we here today? I'm going to do a, um, a re not a review, but a ranking of the new foundations that I tried in 2020. Um, I believe these are all 2020. <laughs> I hope I got this right. The, the very last one on my list, my number eight, could have been 2019. I'm not sure, and I'm just too lazy to check. So... <laughs> we're just gonna go with that um yeah so I have eight of them um I had no duds I mean some of them I definitely like a lot more than others um but I will wear everything here the only thing I had a dud I'm pretty sure it didn't come out in 2020 I tried it in 2020 but it was that Uma U-O-M-A foundation. Some people really, really like, but I could not get it to work for my skin at all, so I took it back. Um, it's the only foundation I've ever taken back. Foundation that I've ever taken back, not because of color, and swapped it out. So, okay, here we are. Eight foundations. Um, number eight is the Juvia's Place, and this is, what is this actually called? It's actually, it's worn off. It's the only stick foundation that I got this year. I want to say it's the Magic Stick. I will try to remember to put the actual name here. But I got this in Nepal. Um, it was a pretty good match for me. There's what it looks like. Swatched. Um, you know, it's a stick foundation. Some people don't like stick foundations. Some people really do. Um, I've only tried one other, and that was the Makeup Revolution, and I really liked that. Um, this just, it wasn't magic for me. It was just okay. Again, I'll wear it. I'm just, you know, it's not one of the first things I gravitate to. But I do have a review up for it if you want to look in my foundation review, um, what do they call it? Playlist. Yes, I think I have one for all of these. I should. Um, next, at number seven, was the Milani Screen Queen. Um, I have this in 200 Nude Beige. Again, I... I hope this came out this year. <laughs> I know the rest of them came out this year because I got them, you know, they were later and I remember. Um, this, again, it didn't look fabulous. And there was a little crusty on that. That's kind of gross. Um, I think you can't tell it on here. I think this ended up pulling a little light on me, but not, you know, horribly bad. But um, it blends in really well with my hand. Um, I should say, yeah, the price is, I think this was about $12, and this one was about around the 10 mark-ish. These were both available at Ulta. Um, you know, it looked okay. It, You know, nothing that I wouldn't wear out. It was just not fantastic. And it had all of these claims about, you know, helping with blue light and all that stuff. I don't know how much I believe in all of that, but... You know, <sighs> next one um, is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh 
foundation. This is the Hydrolonic Hydrating Foundation. And this is in 20C2. Um, swatch that a bit there for you. I'm running out of room on my hand. Um, this is, I think this is the first ColourPop foundation I had tried. And I do actually like this. Um, it feels really good on the skin. It's, it is very moisturizing. Um, if you are oily skin, I don't know how you would do with this. I think this is very, very good for dry skin. Um, I have kind of combo now where around my T-zone, I'm a little on the oilier side. So I had a little problem with that. I guess the biggest problem I had was it's definitely not transfer proof <laughs> it would come off on a lot of things and in a year like 2020 when you're wearing masks that's a problem so i think once we're hopefully out of this on the other side this upcoming year and we're not wearing masks every day i will be pulling this out more but i just i cannot wear this if i'm going out anywhere so only if i'm doing my makeup here at home um, and, and this one I believe was $16. You probably can get it on Ulta now. I got it through, did I get it through ColourPop? I might have gotten it through, I oh, know, I think I could get it through Ulta because they, when it came out, it came out a little early. Um, next is the Maybelline Radiant, Dream Radiant Liquid. Um, I had, what is their other one that I got the year before that I really liked? This is it. The Dream Urban Cover. I really like this. I know a lot of people didn't, um, but I really did. Um, and this came out, I didn't like it as much as I liked the other, but I really do like this. I think this it, it, it is, again, one of the ones with hydrolonic acid in it. It says collagen, but I think that's bullshit. Um, you really need to take collagen internally to really do much of a difference. It's not really going to help if you just put it on your skin because the molecules aren't are too big to seep into your skin so yeah take that with a grain of salt um but this is this was in the color 30 ivory beige and that's the other thing it doesn't go along with all of the other like everything else they have you know i'm, I'm like a 220 or something like that and they just have a completely different uh numbering system there but that's this um, this is not as bad as the ColourPop with the transferring. It's still not great, which again is why I haven't been wearing it a lot in 2020. But in a maskless year, this would have probably ranked much higher. I did like the way it felt. Um, it wasn't as finicky. The other one I could only use with a very specific primer. This I can get away with other primers, so that's good. Um, and that one was probably about $12. I actually think I got it on Amazon <laughs> for that price. Um, next one is, these are all drugstore foundations, I just realized, except for one. Wow, I just realized that. I don't know, I guess I just didn't... I mean, there were some high-end foundations that came out, but the year before it was like foundation, foundation, foundation. 2019 was every time you turned around, it was a foundation. And I'm sorry if you hear my dog whining in the background. Um, my kitten is coming up to her. And Sarah, my dog, still hasn't decided if she's afraid of the kitten or not. Like, she loves kittens, but... But Spice is getting a little older now. She's not completely a kitten. So Sarah doesn't know if she's friend or foe. You okay, Sarah? It's okay. She's not going to hurt you. My dog is like four times the size of the cat. But, you know, she's a lover, not a fighter. All right, so back to what I was talking about. Um, my next one, this was not well liked <laughs> by a lot of people. Um... But this one really, really surprised me because it's so low coverage and I'm not a low coverage kind of person. I need at least medium. Um, but this was the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. Um, I got this in 550 light medium and it really kind of sold me on a lighter and I'm pretty 
ish. Did I get this? I think I, this came out right around pandemic time. So, you know, I wasn't wearing as much full coverage because again, a transfer. Um, let's see, do I have, where, do I, where can I go here? Um, but it's really light coverage, but you don't, you know, when you're wearing a mask, you don't need a lot of heavy coverage. It feels really good. Um, some people complained about little white things in theirs. And I don't know if they got bad batches or somehow mine was a bad batch that didn't have it, but I'm, I don't have any of those little white dotty things in mine. And wow, that really oxidized. <laughs> was that that was the Maybelline again though my this is you know my hand skin is lighter than my face skin um but I really I, I felt like this was nice it was refreshing um you know if you, you didn't need to do a full face of makeup you just wanted some light coverage to kind of even things out I really liked this um I really liked a lot of the stuff in this line um what else was there I know there was a highlighter that I liked and there was a, a lip oil. I wasn't too keen on that, but that was before I started wearing lip gloss. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to go back and relook at that, but I really enjoyed this. Next one, probably the cheapest one here. This one was, I think about 12 or 13. This one is a $5 foundation. Um, it is the sister, to the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy. Um, it is everything you loved about the old Photo Focus. Um, it gives you the dewier, uh, dewier complexion, so it's a little shinier, although my skin never really does do the whole dewy thing. That's the one problem I have. It, it, it looks a little dewier, I guess I should say, but not like a lot of other people. Um, it does still have this horrendous paddle. Don't get me started on that. I hate this paddle. Um, and this is in Buff Bisque. This is the same color I have the other one in. Although it, I swatched it once next to it and they were a little off. Um, and, um, but it does not have that horrible paint smell. If you tried out the Wet n Wild before, and you know a lot of people have, it's a very popular foundation. It's a really great foundation, but when you first put it on, it smells like you're painting the walls of your house. That's how obnoxious that smell is. But they got rid of the smell. I don't know why they couldn't get rid of that stupid paddle, but they got rid of the smell. Um, so the only problem is, again, because it's a dewier foundation, it's subject to a little more transfer. Transfer 2020 in masks is not of the good. Um, any other time, this would be great. Um, you know, I love the way it looks. You know, it, it is super, super close to my number one foundation. Um, if it just, the thing that makes it special is the thing in 220 that is making it worse <laughs> and I feel bad because I know Dewey is in right now but it's so hard to have a Dewey foundation that you know if you powder it to set it then you lose a lot of the dewiness so it's like why did I get a Dewey foundation but you know if you leave it Dewey it gets all over your mask so modern problems am I telling you all right, my number one foundation is actually my only high-end one, and I believe this is about $40. Um, this is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care. I got this in, what color is this in? Where are you? Medium Neutral 31. I really like this stuff. Really, really like this stuff. Um, I, I mean, it's not completely transfer proof. I'm going to have to swatch it here, but it does wear well under masks. Um, it just, it, it's exactly what it says. It's your skin, but better. Um, it has a medium coverage. I would say all of these are probably medium coverage, um, except for the, the cover girl. 
Um, it gives, you know, it's a medium coverage. It's very satiny kind of, it doesn't do the dewy. So it, you know, it stays put a little bit better. Um, it doesn't sink into lines or anything like that. Looks good on pores. Uh, I can't speak to the, to the skincare part. It says, you know, uh, wearing it for two weeks improves what your bare skin looks like. I don't wear one single foundation for two weeks in a row. I like to mix mine up. That's just how it is. Um, but um, I will say it says, you know, water, light, medium coverage, natural radiant finish. I will say yes to all of those. It doesn't feel like you're wearing makeup. It, you know, you don't have to put a ton on. You get a great finish. It works well with the sponge. Um, it also, when I bought mine from Ulta, they had a special where you could get the brush. It works really well with this. It's just the It Cosmetics um, airbrush. Uh, number, was it 15 or 115? I think it's 115. Um, works really well with the brush. You know, pretty versatile there. Um, no bad smells. This was definitely, you know, this was a close second, but this definitely, you know, took the cake. I knew this was going to be my number one as soon as I started talking about these um, or thinking about these. It really is just a beautiful foundation. I, you know, I hate that, you know, it's so much more than the rest of them, but is it worth it? Yes. If you're going to be wearing foundation every day, you're looking for something good. Oh, this works. Now in my overall ranking of my overall, all my foundations, does this take number one? No, I would probably put this up in like the top five or so though. So um, I still like my Charlotte Tilbury. I like the um, Estee Lauder double wear. That double wear is so great for wearing under masks right now. <laughs> it does not budge. Um, but yeah, for 2020, you know, it was a dumpster fire year, but this came through. All right. So again, only eight foundations that I tried that were new this year. I did try others. Um, if you want to see the actual reviews I had on them, you can look at my, I'm, probably, I'm sure I won't remember to put it up in the eye, but the, um, uh, my foundation review playlist, you can look that up and you can also see some of the older ones I did. Um, what, what was your favorite foundation that you tried this year? Even if it's not, I, I'd love to know what uh, their favorite of 2020 was, but if you try, if your favorite foundation was an older one, let me know that too. Or what did you try that was new this year that I shouldn't even bother with? I know there were a couple that, you know, at least some that came out that I just can't think of, but the only thing I can think of right now is the Huda stick, which I was tempted to, but it came out kind of later in the year. And again, I'm trying to save my money for Christmas. So, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at steak underscore and underscore brush and like and subscribe to this video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.